Don't let no relationship define you. What we can see in the midst of the storm, what do we focus on? Perception is the key to discovery. Possession and recovery. How we see a thing affects its response to us. Our response to it and the response to others. It is very critical to see things from the right perspective. Or, or else we may become the victim of our poor perception. If we do not know the purpose of our existence, we might be looking down on ourselves and envy those who should be envying us. May the Lord open your eyes to know your purpose on earth. And may we f fulfill that purpose that only He and we know tonight. What we focus on is what will dominate us. What we focus on is what dominates the end of the matter. And there we see the giants, the sons of Anak, which came of the giants. What are your giants in your life? And we are in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight, Numbers 13 and 33. When the Israelites were sent to spy out the promised land, their focus separated them. For t the ten Israelites, all they could see were the giants, trouble, obstacles. And because they focused on the wrong object, their focus became their obstacle. Their focus became their undoing. What are we focusing on tonight? Are we focusing on relationships? Are we focusing, focusing on our problems? Are we not focusing on God who we should be for focusing on in our ministry and what God has called us to do. Two of them, Caleb and Joseph, however, focus on the Almighty God, and so they had victory. Let us be very careful about the side of the divide that grabs our attention in any given situation. Each time we focus on the problem, we cannot see or appreciate the solution, even when it's right before our eyes. How we see a situation determines its response to us. Perception is the key to fulfilling our destiny. Whenever we see, whatever we see has a way of manifesting itself. Let's not see ourselves less than how God sees us. Let's get our self-esteem greater. You know, we fall into the same patterns because our self-esteem, time and time again, after being belittled, put down, mistreated, abused, anything that we go through in life, little by little we lose more and more of us. And then we fall back in the same patterns again because we've never dealt with the problems. And then instead of dealing with the problems, we go on to add another problem to it. Take time to yourself and work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. And do what God wants you to do and be what God wants you to be. In other words, God's perception of us is our true picture, regardless of whether that picture has manifested or not. In every seemingly bad situation, there is a thread of goodness. I've always said that in my life. Out of every bad situation, there's always something positive. Let's ask God for the grace to always see something good, even when others don't. We cannot be greater than our thoughts. The extent of our vision is the limit of our possession. We cannot possess what we cannot see. Anything the eye of the spirit man can envision, God will deliver them into our hands. Today, because of an economic downturn, many people are seeing death in their businesses. But the overcomers see life in the face of the ac academic. What are we seeing? Life or death? We can only get what we see, no matter how dare a situation is. There's always a positive side to focus on. And we do so, good outcomes will be our portions in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His mighty name, tonight, we can have all that we need. Just begin to put Him as the head. And not the tail. And don't let no relationships define you.